Sup, sup, everyone, it's really Timmy B, and we are back at it again for the next episode of our Sun and Moon Extreme Randomizer Versus with our friend in front of it over there. The last episode on his channel, it was awesome. I completed the grand trial of uh, Hapus, and we are catching up to him. We got a couple of great encounters. Infernament got a Mega Rayquaza. I got a Defense Form Deoxys. So that was really, really cool, and we are making our ways through the end of the game. Uh, but you got to introduce yourself, man. How are you doing today, Infernament? I'm doing pretty good, other than the fact that I hit 6,300 resets for a shiny Regigigas that hasn't even shown up yet. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Hey, love to hear that, my friend, and sorry that it's taken so long to get the Gigas, but I have a good feeling that by the time we are doing this live, you know, this uh, episode comes out, I cannot speak. It is late at night for me. I'm sure <laughs> you'll get it for sure, uh, but definitely go check out his streams. He now has channel points. Channel points will be coming to my channel and streams as well for you to do a little bit of gambling, but enough of that. Hit that thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to both of our channels. Uh, we do have a couple of new team members that we went over on in front of his channel, so uh, definitely pause this video, open up a new tab, go watch this video, and then I'm sure you'll be seeing, oh, a septile. Mega Septile. Pog. Uh, but yeah, do do all that fun stuff, gang. Yeah, and here I am at the Altar of the Moon. It is Lunala time, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, alrighty, alrighty. That is pretty awesome. Septile, one shot, pretty weak Pokemon, even in the Mega form. Wouldn't you say so, Infernament? I'm stopping the recording. <laughs> well, hey, that. At least better than deleting the rec one recording that we did. Yeah, okay. Look uh, at the two of you. I think this... Whoa, whoa. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hapu, are you implying that I should date Lily? Another opinion of yours that I can just throw to the garbage. Ooh la la. Let's go. Yep, we're going to climb up the stairs. The one billion stairs, huffing and puffing all the way up like Poe from Kung Fu Panda. And I huff, and I puff, and I blow the... Oh, what? I can just ride up on Tauros. We. Wait, is there an item over here? Oh, Shedinja, nope. now good thing we have already battled this before. We do know that it is weak to ground. Uh, let's see if Gerald has a move, uh, maybe another type that can take this out. And the answer is no. So we do have to switch out. I believe Frank the Tank took it out. Yes, yes. Because it has a ground move. All right. Lily is going to the sun pad to play her flute. And I will be heading to the moon pad to play my flute. Do, 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 do. Dimension reality altering shenanigans. Will you blow the moon flute? Whoa, maybe I should take it to dinner first. Jeez. Oh, but um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about to play some flutes, just like my sister does. A shout out to Marissa, aka Infernament Sister, who is actually, I believe you were telling me that she's the president of It's Really To Me B's Friends <laughs> Infernament Sisters Club. I believe that's the name of it. Is that what we decided on? Uh, it is in, uh, It's Really To Me B's Friend Infernament Sister and Pals. Ah, I forgot the um, Pals part. My apologies. Otherwise, but not as popularly known as Tau Beta Sigma. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in joining that, that prestigious <laughs> club of It's Really Timmy B's Good Friend, Infernament, Sisters, and Pals, you know, little little group, comment um, down below that you want to join. Yeah, uh, and then after that, uh, consider applying to the University of Northern Iowa uh, and joining the band, and then you'll be able to join because Tau Beta Sigma is a band sorority. But I also you need to comment first that you want to join. Yeah. That's, that's step one. Step two is applying to the University of Northern Iowa. <laughs> Nebby is transforming. Whoa. Oh, oh and, no, no, uh, I want to avoid you. Now he is a bat that represents the moon. Here it comes. ka -chow. Ka -chow. That is one nice looking bat. I actually have a shiny one. So do I. Poggy doggy. 
Oh, yeah, that is Pog Sauce McMuffin right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, Hello. that is a trainer. Hello, I do not want to battle you. Am I going the right way? Of course I am because I got a muscle wing. And I think I'm going to have to end up battling this guy. Oh, nope. Okay, cool. We avoided that. Sweet. <laughs> I love that line from Nebby. Mahina Pina. Already, 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 already. Oh, what is... Oh, what's in this little uh, cave right here? Oh, more more Machamp. All right, let's... Oh, this is the entrance. Okay, never mind. Oh, I thought we were about to catch Lunala. We might not do that until after we go through the Ultra Wormhole. I believe well, that is... Oh, these are a couple of required battles, it looks like. Well, we are here now in Ultra Space, about to take on Lusamine once again. Ultra Space. Oh, Beef Not Lord Supreme is on the screen. I'm going to look up Lusamine's levels here. Because, I mean, if Lunala's level is 55, I'm sure we're prepared for her levels because our team is almost 60. Lusamine, Sun and Moon... Oh, sorry, I looked at the wrong site. My thumbs have been poisoned with Bulbapedia. In the game. Alright. Aether, President, Lusamine, Ultra Space. Her highest level Pokemon is... All of her Pokemon are level 50. Yeah, we're good. We are more than good. Yeah, I believe I looked it up, actually, and I think, like, the champion's ace is, like, 60 or 61. It's, like, not not that high. We're pretty much, like, right there already. Oh. I could be wrong, though. I mean, I, I that was a long time ago, and I've only did this, like, uh, this is my second time playing it. Back-to-back uh, -back episodes on my channel where I'm saying I'm playing this for a second time. <laughs> One of these days you'll be able to play the Ultra games, uh, which Brian, Mega Master X5, would disagree with me on this, but I like those better than the regular Sun and Moon. Yes. All right. Oh, wait. What's up, Guzma? Y'all are stupid. No, you. <laughs> I love that line. Y'all are stupid. Thanks, Guzma. You're not that bright either. Frank the Tank wants to learn Grass Whistle. He heard us talking about flutes, and he was like, you know what? I also want to whistle a little bit, uh, but since it's only 55 accurate, we are not going to be learning it. But it possessed me, and that's when it happened. My body, my mind. You know what? Actually, I forgot that they said that Neo Lego possessed Guzma. I want to see what Guzma looks like when he gets possessed by Neo Lego. Because obviously we see Lusamine. I'd love to see the concept with Guzma. All right, off we go to battle Lusamine. See, this is the creepy stuff I was telling you guys about a couple episodes ago. You guys have never seen Pokemon Sun and Moon well. Lusamine's about to do something very questionable, and that is uh, wearing Neo Lego as a hat. <laughs> And there she is. So delicious, jeez. Is this like SpongeBob where jellyfish produce jelly and this means just been eating it? I wouldn't really trust that because Neo Lego's rock poison type, which means it might be dangerous to eat. It's not only ordinary sandwich, it's a Krabby <laughs> Patty with jellyfish jelly. <laughs> Look around you. Look at this beautiful world. This isn't a beautiful world. This is like a hallway with rocks on it. This world is barely the size of my dorm room. Anyways. <laughs> Cry Agonal with Sandstream. Now that's an ability. I don't know why she would be so obsessed with living there. 
It's like, this is a world that I can live in. Wasn't your goal to go Ooh, to space to save your husband? that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, nope, just kidding. I forgot where Sogaleo and your crab oh. and all. Dang. Dang. Lily just said, I'm the one who's sick of you, mother. Ooh, this. She is, she is not doing okay. And by she, I mean Lusamine. She is not all right in the brain. Lu uh, Lily's doing just fine. She's roasting her mother. Oh, a Stoutland. We just battled that. You know what? I think we, we got we got to give Betsy some love. Betsy was getting a lot of love early on, you know, about five, ten episodes ago. But uh, we've been really neglecting our, our beautiful, beautiful Serena. Oh, no. Oh, there wow. The beast Using ball. Stealth Rock on your final Pokemon? Now that's a bold move there, schoolgirl Sonia. And here we go, guys. Here she comes. She'll be coming <laughs> down the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming down the ultra wormhole. She'll be coming down the ultra wormhole. She'll be coming down the wormhole when she comes. Alrighty, that was a beautiful song. And here she is, God Dexter. <laughs> First Pokemon is a Togekiss. Ooh. Oh, I forgot her whole team is going to be ultra charged, like they're all totem Pokemon. Oh, Not Scrafty too... with Primordial okay. Seed? Thanks, buddy. I got a water type move. All right, let's hit this Togekiss with a Fusion Flare. Okay, looks like it resists it. Nope, it just used the Lecture Web. All right. Oh, well, that's super effective. Whoopsies. <laughs> there goes our speed. I'm gonna hit it with a Water Spell. Let's use Weather Ball. That's just gonna be normal type. Because there is no weather effects going on. Okay, Water Spell didn't do too much either. So assuming that this thing is electric type, do we have, oh, yeah, we have ground types. Do we have ground type moves though? Because Rosalina doesn't have one. Lucky doesn't have one. Mina definitely doesn't have one. Huh. Does Game Sphere have one? Well, you were our last chance, buddy. I guess we can switch out to Rosalina. At least we'll have it so electric type moves don't affect it. Wish we could have a ground type move though. Oh, and of course it uses fire punch. Great. Well, that did barely any damage, so it's fine. Let's hit it with a payback. Please take it out. Ah, uh, pretty close. Oh, that was a crit, too. I don't think she uses potions. Well, yeah, that's she good. definitely does not. This thing's just spamming fire punch, so... It's really a wonder what this thing's type is. But we don't have to wonder too much longer, because it's down. Alright, let's see what your second Pokemon is. A Fion, which we have definitely battled before. Because it was actually one of our encounters. Wait, was it? No, I'm thinking of my Ultra Moon series again. <laughs> where, we, where, we, where we encountered Darkrai was where Fion was one of our encounters. Classic you, always thinking back to previous series. And if you guys haven't already, uh, not only was the last episode on Infernament's channel, but the second episode of my Fire Red Shiny Lock came out just the other day. So if you guys haven't seen it, definitely go watch that right after this video because it is going to be awesome. Haven't even recorded it yet, but I know it's going to be awesome because we are playing Fire Red and we can all use shiny Pokemon. Sick memes. Um, okay, so this Fion just used Jump Kick. I would have really loved if it used it again because it would have missed because I used Phantom Force. These things are taking damage pretty well. 120 base and it only didn't even do half. Well, let's use it again, see if we can get a crit. <laughs> it's using Energy Ball, which isn't going to do too much to Game Sphere. More than I expected, but still not too much. Game Sphere is an Ice type. Alright. Give me a crit, Phantom Force. 
Or not. It's fine. We'll just hit this thing with an Aurora Beam. Aw, oh, man. If it missed this Jump Kick, that would have been really nice, because it probably wouldn't have ended up hurting itself to the point that it fainted. But it's fine. We killed it with Aurora Beam. It's out of here. It's gone. It's been bamboozled. See ya! Bye-bye! Next up... Next up, we have a Rotom. Um... Let's use Lucky. I'm feeling pretty lucky about using Lucky. Oh, man, you are just full of puns today, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, here comes Rotom. It's a Rotom Mo, which is exactly what I was thinking that it was going to be, oddly enough. Oh, yeah, Lily. Heal up my team, please, and thank you. All right, so we've fought one before. Do we have anything super effective against it on anyone who isn't almost dead? No, we don't have anything Ahead. super effective for it. Ahead lies a sacred ground of trials. None who do not take part in its trials will be allowed to walk upon this earth. Those lacking the courage to defeat the totem guarding this land will be denied entry. But those who believe in their Pokemon and walk beside them shall gain great power! Quick question for everybody. Let us know down below if you've ever been burned by a lawnmower before. You know what? I can't say that I have myself, buddy, but let us know in the comments. Have you ever been burned by a lawnmower before? I was just burned by a lawnmower. It used Will-O-Wisp on my shiny Hydreigon. I mean, not Hydreigon. What's this Pokemon's name? Haxorus. <laughs> the other dragon type from Gen 5. Okay, so the first uh, totem here uh, in this uh, trial is a little Electrike. We've not battled with Oh... Okay, Lucky almost died. <laughs> oh, we cannot lose that shiny in front of him. We cannot lose the shiny. Yep, I'm using Sky Uppercut, which is definitely going to take this Rotom out. Bye, Rotom. And we are not using Lucky for the rest of the battle. Ooh, Storm Throw. Okay. Okay. Honchcrow. Hey, it's Washington. Electric Dark, if I remember correctly. You are correct. Th that is an Electric Dark Pokemon. <laughs> the second Pokemon, the second, uh, I guess, uh, Pokemon in this trial is, uh, is an Abra. So, needless to say, the totem Pokemon is obviously going to be a Mega Rayquaza. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for electric dark types except for what's unlucky, and Lucky's almost dead, so. Oh, wait, no, I have Vital Throw on Rose. Let's see what we can do with that. I don't know if I want to risk it because Rose's part flying. Let's see what we can do. This is her second to last Pokemon. How much is Okay, so it just started with a Thunder Wave. Please I'm... don't become fully paralyzed. Alright, we got a Totem Grumpig. Okay. Oh, oh, we just one-shotted this Honscrow. Get out of here. Alright, what's your last Pokemon, Lucimine? What is your last pocket monster? Double Edge, so are you a normal type hey. Grumpig? That actually did a lot of damage. Okay, so first of all, um, our good friend Rose just broke through paralysis, so we wouldn't have to worry thanks to Pokemon Refresh. Uh, but Lucimine's last Pokemon is a Parasect. So let's just stay in with Rose, why not? Let's hope that this Parasect doesn't resist steel, because we're about to use a Corkscrew Crash to finish off... Oh, it's actually weak! I think it might be a Fairy-type. Let's hit it with a Corkscrew Crash and finish off this battle against Lusamine. The ally is a ding, ding. Gumi! Rosé surrounded itself with Z-Power. Rosé unleashes its full force Z-Move Corkscrew Crash. Let's hit it in the face with some nice metal. See you later, Parasect. It was nice getting to know you for the last five seconds. Oh, I knew it was super effective, pal. Get out of here. And that is the end of God Dexter. Ah! Guess what she said. That was her battle ending dialogue. Ah! That does sound like something that she would say, so that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, gorsh. Help us, please, Lunala. Alright, I'm gonna hit it with my Moon Geist Beam. Dang. The power! Oh no. I know we're 23 levels higher than this Gumi, but I gotta use a Hyper Potion just to be safe, buddy. You can never be... Like, we missed... He missed, but, like, you never know. You never know. I guess we'll never know. I Some guess we won't. Champion. Okay, so we didn't need to heal up, but we did anyways. There we go. Beast Ball about to smack her right in the face. Just kidding. It's just going to end up uh, next to her. Wap, 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 wap. Mother! Oh, no! Mother. Give me the Dragonium Z, baby! Yo, what's up, Lucimine? You want to touch Lily's face? Lily, I suddenly have feelings and know what it's like to love my children again. Man, really takes getting possessed by an Ultra Beast to know that you love your children. I know, from first-hand experience. I uh, absolutely hated my own children, but then I went to Ultra Space and got possessed by a uh, Neo Lego and... Uh, my kid's friend uh, defeated me in a Pokemon battle, and uh, I loved my kids again. Can we get out of Ultra Space now? <laughs> yes, Lily, heal up the team. Get me out of here. I don't like it here anymore. Mom, can you pick me up? I'm in Ultra Space. Just put in your GPS. All right, time to get in our exercise for the day, gang. We are going to be running up this set of stairs. Whew. Oh, man. All right, come on. We got this. A little bit more. A little bit more. Keep going. Oh, the repel's effect wore off. We got a quick little break uh, because our repel wore off halfway up through the steps. Uh, probably about 80%. Of, oh, nope. Yep, that was probably about halfway. Are there any items over here? Or is this just a little break in our jog? Either way, we're going to still be running. We're getting that cardio, gang. We're getting that cardio. Oh, one more little flight of stairs. And, oh, oh we made it. Oof. Phew. All righty. When you're ready, come find us. All right. Do I get to catch Lunala now? What's going on here? Because I know that you just get Lunala or Sokaleo. And Ultras on Ultra Moon by going back to the bridge um, that you met Lily on. But in this one, you're supposed to catch them here. Oh, yep, now it's telling Lily that it wants me to catch it. Mahina! Ah! That's what it said in response to Lily asking if uh, we wanted it to stay with us. Beautiful sounds coming from Nebby. Will you blow the sun flute? I think I will. <laughs> Mahina, ah! I want you to face Nebby as only a trainer can, and I want you to give it a ball to call home. I know this is what Nebby wants. It doesn't want... Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it, Lily. Are you sure Nebby doesn't want you to get in the bag? <laughs> He's like, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. Get in the bag, Lily. Mahina Pia. All right, let's see what our Lunala is. It is a Starly. A hey, next level evolution. That is true. That is very true. You should throw your basketball at it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that now. Um, it's level 55, like we said a bajillion times. Um... Flying take Pokemon pretty fast. Let's throw a f fastball at it. Oh, it broke out after the first shake. It's using smoke screen. I'm really, really terrified. I'm probably going to pee myself. Alright, let's try an Ultra Ball now. Game Boy Luke. 
Hey, look, it's Lana. And we got ourselves our legendary Pokemon, Starly. I'm going to slap it on the team just to see what it evolves into. Um, okay. I always do this to be respectful. Lily gave it a, this name. I'm going to name it Nebby. Because that's, that's what it is. It's Nebby. Nothing but. And let's see Nebby's summary. Nebby is a fire type Starly with Torrent as its ability, so that's mixed up. Hey, Brick power Brick up those beat water up. type moves, baby. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a water type move. It has Brick Break, Beat Up, Smoke Screen, and Frost Breath. Hey, well, Frost Breath always is a critical hit, my friend. That is true. Um, okay, so I'm probably going to replace Game Sphere. If it evolves into something that's not as good, we'll put Game Sphere back on the party, but I use Game Sphere the least. And Solgaleo is powering us through the Ultra Wormhole. We're in. Bro, I hate that the, the main protagonist does that. Lily just said catch it yourself. I don't I'm not don't think I'm gonna be able to take care of this legendary Pokemon. Then after you catch it, he you just reach into your pocket like, alright, I'm gonna give Lily this Pokemon, even though she said she can't take care of it. Dummy. You idiot. I'm gonna put Nebby in my bag now. Just walk away, Lily. Just walk away. I don't know why, but I, I... Whenever I see this, I remember that episode of Spongebob where Gary starts going over and, like, hanging out with Patrick all the time. And yes. at the end of the episode, they find out it was just because Patrick had a cookie in his pants. Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> soap? But, but, but you used to use my soap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. As a little kid, like, I... That episode made me want to cry, like, all the time. And it wasn't even, like, usually for the other stuff, but it was, like, when Gary went back with Spongebob and it has that sad music playing and Patrick's just got his pants down. He's just, He just falls on his knees. He's like, Gary, no! Uh, yes, that was a definitely a classic episode of Spongebob. Well, my friend, I know it's a little bit shorter than we normally do, but I think I'm ready to end the episode. I don't know if I want to hop into a Lucimian um, battle with, you know... And taking it forever. I mean, unless you're about to tell me otherwise right now. Yeah, I'm kind of being thrown into something here, and it may or may not be. Oh, wait. Um, well, I could go and do Gladion's battle right now. But if you want to end it off, I guess we can. I think this is actually a good spot to end just so uh, for you guys, the viewers, it's the best for your viewing pleasure because we do have uh, still a couple. I have that Lusamine battle. You're about to hop into a Gladium battle. So uh, for time purposes, we will save that for the next episode on Infernament's channel. I want to thank everybody again for watching this one on my channel for It's Really Timmy B. If you guys haven't already, hit that thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to both myself and Infernament over there. And Infernament, any final words? Um... I will probably evolve Nebby off screen, and you guys will see in the next episode what it evolved into. Well, hey, that is perfect. Well, that's in front of it over there. I'm It's Really Timmy B, telling you guys and gals to have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.